Hello students. Welcome to another program in the mathematics series for grade nine. Today we will talk about coordinates. This is part one of a series of two videos. Part two will follow in another video. By the end of this program, you will be able to find the gradient of inclined, horizontal and vertical lines. Let us consider this picture. What do you observe? You will notice that the different parts of the road has different inclinations. These five lines have also different inclinations. Line A is horizontal, lines B and C are inclined upwards, D is a vertical line, whereas E is a line inclined downwards. We can measure the steepness of a line by calculating its gradient. Let us consider this example. Here we have a line segment AB. How can we find the gradient of this line? Gradient of a line is given by vertical increase divided by horizontal increase. In this case, the horizontal increase can be found by counting the number of units horizontally. And here it is three units. Similarly, we can find the vertical increase by counting the number of units vertically. And in this case, it is six units. We have seen that gradient is equal to vertical increase divided by horizontal increase. Therefore, for this example, it is six divided by three, which is two. Let us take another example. In this line segment, AB, A has coordinates two, one, B has coordinates four, five. We can find the horizontal increase by counting the number of units in between the x coordinates. And in this case, it is two units. Similarly, the vertical increase can be found by counting the number of units between the y coordinates. And in this case, it is four units. We have seen that the horizontal increase is two units. The vertical increase is four units. Therefore, the gradient is four divided by two. It reduces to two. Therefore, friends, is there another method to find the horizontal increase? Of course, we can find the horizontal increase by the difference between the x coordinates of the points A and B. Similarly, we can find the vertical increase by the difference between the y coordinates of points A and B. So now we can use the difference between the y coordinates and the difference between the x coordinates to find the gradient of a line. Here you have a line passing through two points where A has a general coordinate x1, y1, and B has coordinates x2, y2. We have seen that the horizontal increase can be found by the difference between the x coordinates. And the vertical increase can be found by the difference between the y coordinates. In this case, the vertical increase is y2 minus y1, and the horizontal increase is x2 minus x1. Therefore, the gradient of this line is equal to vertical increase divided by horizontal increase, which is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So friends, we have now a formula to calculate the gradient of a line. We have seen that the gradient of a line can also be found by using a formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Let's take an example. Let us read the problem. Find the gradient of a line segment joining the points A with coordinates 1, 4 and B with coordinates 7, 1. Let us label the diagram. A has coordinates 1, 4. B has coordinates 7, 1. 
we know that gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can replace y2 by 1 and y1 by 4. Therefore, it becomes 1 minus 4. And x2 minus x1 is 7 minus 1, which is minus 3 over 6, which reduces to minus half. This line, dear students, is a line inclined downwards. And you will notice that the gradient is negative. We observe that the gradient of a line inclined downwards is negative. The gradient of a line inclined upwards is positive. And the gradient of a line inclined downward is negative. So what is the gradient of a line which is horizontal and a vertical line? Let us take these two examples. The line passing through the points A and B is horizontal, and the line passing through the points C and D is vertical. Let us calculate the gradient of the vertical line. We label the point C by x1, y1, and D by x2, y2. We have the formula for gradient, which is y2 minus y1 and x2 minus x1. If we replace the values, you have 6 minus 0 over 3 minus 3, which becomes 6 divided by 0. But dear students, we know that any number divided by 0 is undefined. Therefore, we have the gradient of a vertical line is undefined. You can calculate the gradient of the horizontal line using the coordinates given. In this case, gradient of a horizontal line is zero. In this line, we have, given, we have been given three points, A, B, and C. What will happen if we calculate the gradient of a line using any two points? Let us choose the points A and B first. The horizontal increase is three. The vertical increase is one. We know that the gradient is vertical increase divided by horizontal increase. Therefore, gradient of AB is one over three, which is one third. Now, let us choose two points B and C. Here, the horizontal increase is six. The vertical increase is 2. Gradient of BC is 2 divided by 6, which is equal to 1 third. You will notice that the gradient of AB and BC are equal. Therefore, we observe that we can find the gradient of a line using any two points lying on that line. Dear students, you have been given a few questions so that you can practice the knowledge of gradient. So students, we have learned one, that we can measure the steepness of a line by calculating its gradient. Gradient is given by vertical increase divided by horizontal increase. And the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We have also seen that a horizontal line has gradient zero, a vertical line has gradient undefined, a line which is inclined upwards has gradient positive, and a line which is inclined downwards has gradient negative. Here are two websites where you can consolidate your knowledge of gradient. So dear friends, with this, we have come to the end of this program. Until then, part two, I say goodbye to you and see you then.